Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. I am Amalgamash, and I wanted to introduce to you DevSember. DevSember is a concept that I've had rattling around in my brain for a couple of months now. It kind of goes along with me trying to put a theme on the month, and without really changing the kind of content that I'm working on, it kind of more prioritizes one type of content over the others. So a big part of the channel is video game development, specifically RPGs. You can branch that out into other subjective lines, blur type of genres, subgenres, things like that. But generally we're gonna be talking about role-playing games and the elements that make up role-playing games. Uh, a lot of the channel content has to do with specific engines, but I'd like to dial back and in addition to giving you tutorials for specific engines, I actually want to go over some really high level concept stuff. High level in this context, not meaning like smart or galaxy brain, but when you have a concept that you haven't nailed down the specifics or the particularities of, you don't know which engine is gonna work best in yet, that's high level. Once you get to low level, that's when your nose is to the grindstone and you're really, you're, you're performing testing and um, it's generally just testing really and development of assets and things like that. But I wanna talk about some high level stuff and some low level stuff and I wanna talk a lot about video game development, RPGs in particular, and I want to talk about taking some of the high level concepts and applying them to tabletop gaming as well. I'm going to be trying to deliver everything that you see here in this notepad file and um, notepad is is one of my best friends notepad is, is is always been there for me so this is the stuff that I would like to go over this month I can't promise that I'll be able to go over all of this stuff this month but this is my goal all right and this is not ordered in any kind of level of priority, anything like that. This is just a very compiled list of high level concepts. Uh, some of them seem like they're low level, but I haven't quite mapped out how I'm going to present them yet. So they're still high level because they're just on the notepad document. But obviously the top one we can go ahead and knock out because this is your introduction to Devcember. It's still, it's still thanks Vember. <laughs> I've gotten a lot of stuff out of the way that I wanted to get out of the way in in November. Um, I still have more of Project Night to play and things like that. Um, and I'm still going to be doing HeroQuest videos sporadically throughout, especially if it's timed content. But I have a lot of play tests and things like that for HeroQuest, so really that needs to be on here as well. But I do want to talk about every single one of these things and actually drop tutorials on how to do anything that's tutorialized here. So the first thing that we'll probably get into, the video that I'll be getting ready to record is a scripted video. I've been working on it for quite a while and it is about reviewers and how you as an indie dev uh, can use the information given to you by people who are experiencing your game and who want to put their thoughts down. But there's a caveat to that not every single opinion is going to be valuable to you and i'll get into why that is in that video so this one in particular i hope you will look forward to because i've put some work into this one it's a philosophy that i stand pretty firmly by and if you're a game reviewer no disrespect to you whatsoever but i would also like for reviewers to check out that particular video here in the next day or so because hopefully Hopefully they'll be able to spot some what I would consider to be very bad habits and they'll they'll be able to kind of pick out things about their own work if it does apply to them, if they find it helpful, same rule applies, and apply that. Uh, I, I'm going to be misspelling words everywhere. We're going to be prototyping a game by putting all of our events on one map. This is just a good way to prototype things quickly. I'll show you what I mean by that and I'll be probably using Smile Game Builder, but you can use any game engine you want and do this if you're just starting to get out there and you want to prototype quickly and it'll make total sense. You'll see why. There's a trick that Mito Sencha 
taught me on how to get more variables in Smile Game Builder. It's pretty easy to figure out if you've spent a lot of time with Smile Game Builder, but one of the complaints that people have is not enough variables, not enough variables, and there is actually a lot of room in SGB for variables. With this one simple trick, SGB devs hate him. Amalgamash can show you how to get more variables in SGB. We're going to uh, get into drawing SGB maps quickly. We are going to ensure better performance with MV3D and MZ3D if applicable. I don't have a lot of experience with MZ3D so I won't be able to promise that the tricks will work but we're going to do everything we can to make sure this plugin works and runs well with this engine. I'm going to be talking about my three-phase dev concept. I haven't shipped a game. I am not a professional game developer, so this will likely be, among all of the useless videos, the most useless to you. But I'd still like to get my thoughts out there because I have a plan on the games that I am hoping to create and polish up and ship one day. And the three-phase plan is more of the concept, getting it out there, translating your high-level concept to the low-level definite work. Uh, so I hope you'll find it interesting or, and or it, it at least allows you or inspires you to think of things a little bit differently, even if it's not my way. As I said, we'll be playtesting HeroQuest. Heroes on the board. I actually have a script wrote up for a custom HeroQuest system or mode of play. Um, unboxing and teasing, I, I've got a lot of board games. I kind of went crazy. I, I, I went after a lot of games these last few weeks. I did try to hunt for deals, but I, I, I got a lot of games. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not proud. And we're going to be going over unboxing and looking at the contents of these games, and I'll talk a little bit about their history. Uh, we're going to talk about SGB string variables and the many, many things that you can do with string variables to help free up your total variable load. So that 1,000 variable uh, on integers that you have that limits you from doing all these great things with your 10 floor dungeon crawler or whatever, we're going to show you ways to kind of circumvent that so you can free up some of those precious, precious variables. And that is if this doesn't already help you. I would like to finish up the Smile Game Builder FAQ, which I have that listed twice, like a scrub. Hey, that's, that's one more item off there. We are going to be taking more looks at RPG Architect by Monster and Robot. I've got access to the latest and greatest version of RPG Architect. It is still in development. The developer is working at breakneck speed speed to get this engine shippable. Uh, complete the SGB FAQ, I already said that, but it's worth saying twice. There's a lot of frequently asked questions on the Discord and not to blow my own horn, but I think it would be awesome if they could all be answered and the answers could be made public and posted in very short YouTube videos that have my face plastered on them. Uh, I would love to complete a V-Roid to SGB tutorial. I would love to complete a Unity to S... That's not what I meant by that. An SGB to Unity tutorial. And I would like to complete an editing character editor tutorial. Talking about the Type A character maker that comes uh, as a DLC for SGB. There are other people who have been working on doing this as well. But it's something that I think needs to be talked about. I said... RPG A already, that's RPG Architect. Uh, I might be doing some development of my two of my projects, Depraven and Planet Spectrum, right on camera. I might be doing a little bit of streaming if I can figure out the best bitrate to stream at without completely uh, breaking every five seconds, which is the norm for me so far. And that's it. If you can think of anything that you would love to have covered this merry month of December, please let me know. I will strongly consider it. I will seriously consider it. There will be other kinds of videos that pop up throughout the month as well. In particular, I got into the Sunnyside Pre-Alpha, which is a farming sim that holds itself to a pretty high standard. And I've got a lot to say about it, but I'm trying to figure out how to make it to where that video won't be negative. And if I can't figure out how to do that, then there just won't be a video. I've been very kindly offered 
two more keys for games. One is Himeko Story, and I feel like I, I really wanted to present that game because I was kindly offered a key, and it was all made by one developer, so it really strongly aligns with my, if you are a single developer, you can do this. And it's something I do feel strongly about, so it's something I hope I can cover in the span of one 20 minute video because there's a lot behind it and I, I want to do it just. And I was given a key for an RPG Maker game. I'll, I'll probably just introduce it in that video rather than talk about it yet. It'll be pretty soon because it comes out December 3rd, so I want to make sure I get a video up before that. So, And that's it. I just wanted to talk about December. Uh, expect anything, but if you hope for the best, then I hope that you can hope for all of the videos, the video ideas and concepts listed here in this simple notepad pad file next to my face. Uh, that's it. I hope you have a great day. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.